Hello everyone, this is the Blue Dragon Gamer. We are playing level 9, Blue Dragon Castle. I know what you're thinking. What an awesome name for a castle. Here we see a dragon flying around the castle. That's pretty cool. I have to say though, it does kind of look like a pterodactyl, especially when you look at its shadow. Shrek entered the castle and saw a dragon soaring up in the sky. That must be the blue dragon. How am I going to get him down here? He thought for a while. Fire should do the trick. All dragons like fire, right? Right. Only thing was, where and how could he get enough fires burning to lure the dragon down to him? The magic mirror has a message for Shrek. Merlin has conjured up a posse of evil fairies and commanded them to do random acts of evil. It would be great if you could capture them all and put an end to their malicious behavior. Capture all the evil fairies. Mirror, you use some pretty big words, commented Shrek. The magic mirror has been reading his paper. I read in the fairy tale gazette that the Easter Bunny got rich through some scam. It says in the paper that he's made gold eggs from his ill-gotten gains and hidden them so cleverly that no child could ever find them. Pretty clever, says Shrek. Children should never be denied anything they want. Find the hidden Easter eggs, replied the mirror. All right, I'll do it, Shrek says. As you can see, we have three missions to complete so far. Lure the dragon with fire, capture the evil fairies, and find the hidden Easter eggs. Start by making your way over to the castle tower on the right, using wall jumps, climb up to the top to get an easter egg. Here we see an archer, let him hit you and you'll be given another mission. Stop that! Shrek shouted when one of the rogues around the area shot an arrow at him. We'll keep bugging you until you've done something about those baby dragons that keep bugging us. They breathe fire! Shrek growled. Put them out with water, then! The rogue shouted back. Do it yourself! Meanwhile, all the fuss seemed to make the giant dragon even more annoyed. We are now given a mission to water the baby dragons. Don't worry about it for now. Continue to make your way around the top. <laughs> the game does call the archers rogues in this level, but I will be referring to them as archers since they fire arrows at you. After knocking off the archer, we see another easter egg on the small rooftop. Long jump over to get it. Now long jump over to the small ledge on the tower, and then jump over to the ledge across from us. Across from us, we see a fairy on the lower ledge. Before jumping down to get it, grab the chili pepper. After getting the fairy, head over to the unlit torch and ignite a fart to create an explosion to light the torch. Now we can head over to the baby dragon chasing the soldier. Grab the soldier and the baby dragon will follow you. All you need to do is lure the baby dragon into the small swimming pool. Let me just say that this is a castle we're at. I think they can afford a bigger swimming pool than that. Yes, we will be juggling a couple missions at once on this level. When that is done, head across the bridge where we see the castle gate is closed. Heading around to the right side of the castle, we see a baby dragon chasing another soldier. Grab the soldier and lure the baby dragon into the swimming pool. Put me down. Put me down. Stop that. <laughs> Be sure to take the soldier and throw him off the ledge to the left. Now continuing on the right side, head down.
This place is scorched, Shrek realized when he saw the drained moat. Seems like the fishes are in trouble. I might as well save them now that I'm here. He figured they needed to get to water of some kind. The dragon seemed annoyed with the fishes twitching, too. Here we are given a mission to save the fishes. For now, don't worry about it. Under the bridge, we see another fairy to capture. Along with the fairy, there's also an easter egg to get. Just do a wall jump to get it. Continuing to stay on the right side of the castle, make your way over to the grass. Here we see another unlit torch, but first let's get the fairy across from us. Once that is done, stand on the unlit torch. Wait for an archer to shoot a flaming arrow and use it to ignite a fart, lighting the torch. We can now head over to the other side. Here we see another baby dragon chasing the soldier that we threw down here. The reason we threw the soldier down here was because this baby dragon didn't have anyone to chase after and we needed a soldier to lure him up into the swimming pool. Put me down. Put me down. This completes watering the baby dragons. After completing this mission, the archers will no longer be shooting flaming arrows at us, which means we'll have to ignite the rest of the torches with the help of chili peppers. For now, let's help save the fishes. All you need to do is pick up the fishes and carry them over to the swimming pool. Let's start with the one on the left side. The fishes do like to squirm out of your hands constantly, so you do need to keep picking them up. Eventually, you can get a rhythm of picking them up right away after they squirm out of your hands. It is about every two seconds you will want to pick them back up. Once you get close enough, you can just throw the fish into the pool. Okay, two more to go. This time, head over to the right side and grab the second fish. Just like with the first one, carry it all the way to the swimming pool. One more to go. Grab the last fish on the right side and make your way to the swimming pool. This completes saving the fishes. Now continue to head down on the left side of the castle. Here we see a fairy on the upper ledge. Let's climb up and get it. Of course, it flies away. Now it should be around here somewhere. There it is. Now we can continue along the bottom. Go over to the small ledges and use wall jumps to climb up. Be sure to also grab the chili pepper. Here we see another unlit torch to light up. Continue to climb up to the top of the castle. Here we see some more archers. I like to throw them off to get them out of the way. Yeah. 
here we see another unlit torch to light up. Drop down into the center of the castle behind the closed gate and follow it to get another easter egg. Here we see a locked door and we need a key to open it. One of the archers got stuck in the ground. That's hilarious. Now climb back up to the top of the castle and grab a chili pepper. Head over and light up the last unlit torch. This completes luring the dragon with fire. As you can see, the blue dragon has dropped the key we need on the bridge. Go over and pick it up. Now we can go through the locked door. Start heading inside of the castle. Here we see a large gap in the floor. Just do a long jump to get to the other side. Then we are just going to push the archer into the gap. Continue to go deeper into the castle. As Shrek entered the castle, a horrible sound reached his ears. Gosh, that's awful! What's making that noise? All thoughts of everything else were lost, and Shrek was forced to focus on one thing only, to find the source of the sound within the castle and make it stop. Maybe then the dragon will have the courtesy of talking to me. We are now given a mission to stop the noise. Before we venture any deeper into the castle, make your way back outside. The reason we are doing this is because a fairy has now appeared outside that we need to capture. I hear it, so it must be close by. There it is, under the bridge. This completes capturing the evil fairies. We can now head back inside the castle. If you fall into the gap, just do some wall jumps to get out. As you can see, we come to a large gate. All you need to do is a wall jump to get over the gate. Now it can be a little confusing on how to get up to the cow. Start off climbing the wooden structure and do a wall jump off the wall on the left to get on a small ledge. Next, make your way up the stairs and go to the right with the pink cow poster. Wall jump to get on the small ledge in the corner. 
Then do a wall jump to the ledge on the right with the archer. Next, jump to the first of the three small ledges beneath you and jump across all the way to the right. Then wall jump off the wall on the left and the wall on the right to reach another ledge. Here we see an easter egg on the dragon chandelier. Jump over to get it. Now climb back up to the ledge you were previously at before getting the easter egg. Next, do a wall jump to reach the small ledge on the right. Then do another wall jump to get on the bridge on the right. Follow the bridge and go right. Do a final wall jump off the wall on the right and left to get on the last ledge. Follow the stairs up where we see the cow. This mission is basically the same as in level 3, that's right, it's making a return, but I assure you, it's not by popular demand. All you need to do is fart in the cow's face. I know, disgusting. Let's first get the easter egg that is floating above us. Use the chili pepper to ignite your gas to elevate you high enough to get it. This completes finding the hidden easter egg, and we managed to get our max health increased. Since there are no hearts nearby, we won't worry about filling our health to the max. All that's left to do now is fart in the cow's face. This completes stopping the noise. You are here for the crystal ball, I assume. I do not understand why the Ice Queen conjured it here in the first place. I never liked her. But of course, she was better than Merlin. They've been close friends since childhood, you know. But after a while, the Ice Queen thought that Merlin held her back and didn't give her enough space to nurture her own viciousness. So she stole his crystal ball and locked him up. At any rate, I want him gone, and so I present to you the crystal ball. The only way which you'll ever get close to him. Also note the dragon's apple I am giving to you. Eat it before you meet him. It will give you the ability to breathe dragon's fire for a short time. You'll smell bad much longer though. It gives an additional meaning to the concept of dragon's breath, don't you think? Be sure to save your game. This is the end of level 9, Blue Dragon Castle.